How do you deal with stress at your job? That's what I want to talk about in this video today. You know, how, how do you deal with when things get uncomfortable and uh, you feel stuck and you don't really know what to do, you don't have any, uh, you don't see any way out. So, you know, let me tell you a story. I used to work a job at this printing company. And this was uh, a little over 10 years ago. And we used to make those brochures at the grocery stores from uh, for grocery stores like Publix, Food Lion, um, sometimes Walmart, right? And we used to actually make those. So we used to, the paper used to go through this big, big printer it's like a humongous printer and it prints probably at uh man it probably print like 50 catalogs in about five minutes right but the, but the problem is, is if uh if everything was going smooth no problem but if it breaks down that's where the problem comes in at so I was the guy, I was like the the mechanic, basically, that make, our, my job was to make sure that the machine stayed online. But you know, I really hated the job because it was, at the end of the night, after doing 8 to 12 hours, I was dirty, I was smelly, and I was smelling like ink. Like ink inside the ink pen, basically. You know, and I was so dirty and I was doing this this job uh, sometime 40 hours a week. I was so dirty, every time I, I, I um, got home, I never could bring my clothes in the house. That's how dirty I was. Because if I was, a, if I was to take off my clothes in the house, my shoes off in the house, ink would be everywhere. So that's how dirty I was. So I hated it. I was sweaty, I was stinking, everything, right? So, uh, after about a year, you know, I, I, I basically got burned out. So I was laying in the bed one day, and I woke up, and I was so tired and burned out, I couldn't move. <clears throat> I couldn't move. So I just decided... I just called out of work that day, right? And this started to be a habitual thing. It started to go on and on and on. So by the time, you know, this, I, it was like the fourth or fifth time, I just laid there and didn't go anywhere. And eventually I quit, you know? But the thing that I learned from that situation is that you have to, Learn how to cope with certain situations. You have to learn how to counter. So, of course, it happened again in the next job that I had. So, what I did is I started to meditate. And I really started to work out. I have, like, physical workout. Just like I'm about to do after I'm done doing this video. That's why I have this towel. All right? So, I started, yeah, you have to find a way to ease tension, to ease your mind to get back in flow because if you're like stressed out all the time you can't really think like you normally would if you wasn't stressed so I started to meditate and I started to uh, work out and I started to I changed my surrounding I changed my environment I started surrounding myself with different people and then I started to write stuff down in my journal, you know, like every week. I started to write stuff like ideas down. I didn't necessarily have to do all the ideas, uh, you know, uh, uh, or complete all the ideas. But I just wrote them, all of them down, like five to ten ideas, five days a week. And I started doing it on a consistent basis. 
And before you know it, some of those ideas I started to um, take action on. And, you know, at some point, if you hate what you're doing, or you hate your job, or your current situation, you have to get started somewhere, somehow, at some point in time. You have to do something different to, to, to get a different result. Period. So, if you're at your if 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 you're at your job, you don't like your current situation. You just gotta find an outlet. I'm not talking about alcohol, drugs, none of that. No, you know, I'm talking about something that that's positive. Actually, alcohol and drug that suppress that suppress your body. That make things worse. You might think in that moment while you're drinking a high or whatever that it's gonna it help, but no, that makes things worse. But you need like an outlet, a healthy outlet that puts your body and your mind back in flow as one. So every, your body and your mind is connected and, and, and you're in flow like driving down the highway in your car. So you, you need, you know, maybe you should meditate, do yoga, Work out, change your your environment, surround yourself with positive people that that's looking for some sort of change, and uh, you you just need uh, ideas. Come up with ideas all the time, and before you know it, it'll become like second nature, and then you you might decide the turn some of those ideas or some hobby into some sort of income. And then eventually you end up doing what you love doing and not working a job that you hate or doing something because you have to do it, even though you might hate it. You know? So that's... That's what I did. That's how I got out, out of that uh, that mindset or that mind state. Because if you uh, pain, everyone's gonna have some type of pain in life, but you don't have to suffer. Pain is mandatory, but suffering is not. It's really you just have to make a decision and decide that you want to make a change. So that's how you deal with your stresses at work. So uh, if you like what you heard in this video, check out my blog at lopazlesane.com. I post stuff there uh, weekly and uh, it's a lot of a lot of different tricks and tips that I used uh, that got me started. Basically, you know, uh, make a lot of changes in my life, whether it's physically, mentally, emotionally, relationships. You know, it's still stuff I talk about on my blog is still relevant today. And uh, I started writing back what 2007. So, until next time, my name is Lopez Hussain. Peace and love.